when I when I hear things like it's not worth the risk, first of all, uh, as a coach, I've been I have had the opportunity to watch this football team at, at Bedford prepare for this year, and we told them, you know, if you wear your mask, you social distance at meetings, you know, split your time in the weight room. They've done all those things. We said if you follow these protocols, you will have the opportunity to play. To now come back to them and say you've done everything right, but you know what, we we still don't have the the will. To let that happen and i think back to those words it's not worth the risk we know most of us up here have either played or been a part of athletics we understand that there's inherent risk to what we do that's why there's an ambulance that sits out by the football fields on friday night we know that there is risk but always that risk benefit reward ratio has always been left up to the families to determine is this worth the physical risk well i don't see any difference in that now and quite frankly, the governor has himself said when he was out in a protest in the streets of Harrisburg, he said when asked, did you follow your own protocols? He goes, no, I didn't because I felt the cause was worth the risk. Well, we cannot just allow one person in Pennsylvania to, to, serve, to discern for everyone which causes are worth the risk and which are not. That decision needs to be left up to parents and it needs to be left up to families. Is it worth the risk? I believe that in my case it is, maybe some other people don't, but at the end of the day, if we're going to leave that decision only up to one person, then we have a problem that's far greater than COVID-19.